Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, where you can determine what I will be implementing next. If there's something you would like to learn how to code, leave a comment down below, and maybe, just maybe, I'll make a video about it. In this video, we are going to be learning how to set up an admin panel using PHP, MySQL, HTML, and CSS. In other words, we're going to create a page on our website that only admin users have access to. If I log in as my admin user, scroll down to the bottom of the page, an admin panel link will appear, and this will only show up for admin users. I'm going to click on it, and it will take me to the admin panel. If I log out and log in as a normal user, scroll down to the bottom, and you see that the link does not appear. If I try to go to the page in the URL, adminpanel.php, it redirects me to the home page because I do not have access to that page. We're going to begin by looking at our users table in PHP My Admin. In order to tell which users are regular users and which users are admins, we're going to change the structure of our table. We're going to be adding a column called user level. We're going to default it to zero, which will be a regular normal user. Save that out. Now, both of our test users should have a user level of zero. I'm going to copy this test user and we're going to name them admin. We're just setting up our admin user here. Admin first name. Key thing here is to update the user level to one. Hit go. Two users with a user level of zero and our admin has a user level of one. So any user with the user level of one will be able to access our admin panel. Users with level zero are regular members and they will not have access to the admin panel. Now that we have our users table updated to accommodate the different user levels, we can jump into the code. I'm gonna hop over to my easy code is folder and at the root level, we are gonna copy the signup.php and rename it admin panel. We are also going to want CSS styles for the admin panel. So we're going to do the same inside of the CSS folder, copy the signup.css and name it admin panel. Once our files have been created, we're going to hop into Sublime and open them up. We are also going to need our index file and our PHP functions file. The first thing we want to do is code up our admin panel link on the home page. So if I log in as admin, I've created the admin user in the database. So I should be able to log in as admin and we scroll down to the bottom. We need to add a admin panel link down here for users that are an admin. So down at the bottom of our index page here, inside of our if logged in, we're going to add our link. Now it's not just enough to check if the user is logged in, we also need to check if they are an admin. Now we have to write our is admin check. We're going to put this where we place all of our other functions in our functions.php file. Place this at the bottom. So the way we determine if a user is an admin is we check their user level. If it's a one, they're an admin. If it's zero, they are not. And whenever the user gets logged in, all of these columns are stored in our PHP session variable. So all we have to do is check the session variable for if the user is a user level of one. All right, so we're checking to make sure that our session has user info in it. If it does, then we check to see if our session user info user level, which is coming right from our database, is set to user level admin, which we are going to define as one up at the very top of our page. So the reason I'm doing a define here instead of just saying one equals, which I very well could do, is to make the code a little bit cleaner. This way, we can actually see we're checking for a user level admin. I mean, maybe somebody comes in the code and you're like, what does one mean, right? And the other reason is in case the user level admin ever changes, all we have to do is update this define to maybe it changes to four or three, you know, in the future. Otherwise, you have to find every place in the code where it the, we have a one hard coded like this and change it. By using this define, all we have to do is change it in one spot. All right, so we have our isAdmin function created. Now we can easily check if a user is an admin or not. Let's 
hop over to our homepage, refresh it, scroll to the bottom, and see uh, an error. Undefined function. What, do we spell it wrong? Use admin calling spelt, right? Um, put this at the bottom of the... Oh, I put this inside of an if statement, inside of a different function. <laughs> Alright, so under this function right here, logged in redirect, we're going to do our is admin function. Now we are outside of our if statement down here. Refresh our page, scroll down to the bottom, and our if check has worked. We're in admin, so we can see the admin panel link and click on it. Now we're going to edit our admin panel.php file. Since it was copied from sign up, we have some cleaning up to do. We're going to get rid of our login redirect, because that is only needed for the sign up page. And under our functions uh, include, we're going to do our is admin check again. This is where we will redirect users if they are not an admin. If the user is not an admin, they will be redirected to our index page. Otherwise, they get to see this page. Let's change the sign up stuff to admin, admin panel, update this to our admin panel.css file. Inside of our onload for JavaScript, we do not need this stuff, so we're just going to keep our loader initialized for future use when we add on some actual functionality to the admin panel. We're going to change the title of the page to admin panel. And we're going to remove this form. This is the old sign up form. We don't need it. We don't need the button either. And we don't need the already a member link either. The only thing we're going to add is a little subheading here telling you what admin user you are logged in as. Logged in as and all of our user info is stored in the session. So we're just going to echo out the first and the last name of the admin user. Now, when I click on the admin link, I should not be redirected because I am an admin. Perfect. Admin panel logged in as admin user. Let's give us a quick style here over in our admin panel.css file. Call this the subheading. We're going to do a text align center and a font size of 14 pixels see what that looks like on here. Refresh our page. There we go. Admin panel, logged in as admin user. Well, we have successfully created an admin page where only admins have access to. Log out, and I log in as my test user. I scroll to the bottom, the link is gone. Just because the link is gone doesn't mean I can't try to access it, so I'm going to try to access it by the URL, admin panel.php and it redirects me back to the home page because the test user is not an admin. We log in as our admin user. At the bottom we have our admin panel link. We click on it and we have access to our admin panel. That is going to do it for this video. We have successfully set up an admin panel using PHP, MySQL, HTML, and CSS. Thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me see what you would like to see coded next. Remember, easy code is, and I'll catch you later.